Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to yet another episode of... <laughs> and, of course, we're still in Medieval Dynasty Season 1, Episode 10 today. And when we left off last, we'd done a bunch of running around there. We uh, did a couple of favors for Elwyn. Uh, did a little uh, progressive uh, work within the village a bit. And I do believe my last words to you in my last video was... Oh, that house. So, that's right. Today we are going to move that house west three feet. So please, join me, won't you? <laughs> okay, so there she sits in all her glory. I'll do a little quick save here, just in case things go kind of pear-shaped on me. Is you know how when you're doing builds <laughs> and like that and like that. Now I've already built a second house uh, because you know for future villagers, right? So this way I can. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, gosh darn heck. Uh, so Ermani Gilda or Hilda, Ermani Hilda, I suppose is how you pronounce it. Anyway, the wife's moving next door with the kid for a short while I take this down. <laughs> Or money Hilda, that's how you say her name, and uh, like that, like that. So I'm moving kind of slow here, getting overweight. So I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go into God mode here and just do uh, unlimited carry for the now while we're doing the build and stuff. Just so much easier. I mean, you know, just for expedience' sake. Damn, I wish I could do that big house, but oh well. If wishes for horses, then uh, beggars could ride, eh? Okay, now we'll just face north here. Get you all situated. Lined up. No, no, no. Why won't you go? Come on, now. It's a bigger footprint than the last house. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, now that's the small one. A simple house, as it were. And that won't go. Oh, it does go. Okay. So a small foundation. But I don't want to do a small foundation. I should like to do a large one, please. Okay, now what's that looking like there? Okay. So that fits. So I should be able to get a larger one in there. Because there's no way. I mean, the stairs are off to the side. That's worse than the last. So let's get rid of that then. Yeah, take a step back. And voila. Okay, now face straight north. Uh, that's slightly skewed. Dag it. Uh, oh, it will fit. Okay, so we'll just line that up with a pathway then. A little bit here, a little bit there. Okay, it's in, and I'm facing north, but it. <laughs> Yeah, it seems skewed. Don't you think it's skewed, like, clockwise, just a couple of degrees? It's... Ah, it's killing me, man. All right, it's staying. Okay, moving on with the, uh, it's okay to leave it like it is, Nigel. Nobody other than me gives a shit, I'm sure, but... <laughs> just part of my, uh, idiosyncratic character dysfunctionality. <laughs> As it goes, you know. But there you are. It is what it is. We all live within our own personal jails, eh? <laughs> okay, let's have a peek see. Alright, so that's got to be converted over to planks. There we go. That'll look a lot better. Oh, that is uber, uber expensive, eh? Okay, we'll toss you in for the now. A little bit of this. A little bit of that, a little magic powder for the reindeer, a little for Santa Claus, a little more for Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, Cheech and Chong. Uh, the wilds of a misspent youth. You can tell I spent a lot of time listening to things that weren't to do with the uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic, yeah? <laughs> See, back in my day, speaking of, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic, I come from a, a small village in Ontario. 
and we still had, uh, there was a retired policeman there, good friends with my dad, makes sense. My father was a guard in the, uh, in the penitentiary in Guelph, in Ontario, in the OR. Uh, I was there for years, man. But uh, him and this retired cop, of course, they got along pretty good. Well, the retired policeman, uh, old Bill there, if you will, he was also our truant officer. That's right. I'm old enough that we still had truant officers. And for those of you who are young of heart and don't know what that is, a truant officer hunted down kids who skipped out of school and uh, took them back to school because, you know, that's where you belong, right? You got to fit in. Can't have a square pig in a round hole. That'll never do. Why, there's something wrong with that child. He won't conform. Anyway, long story short, you got to understand, he's a retired policeman. He is, uh, well, he's about how old I am now. You know, he was in his late 60s, coming up on 70. But we were young and spry. And where I come from, you know, there's a lot of crown land, a lot of bush, a lot of bush, man. You know, and potholes and rivers and things to do other than go to school. But old Harry, he'd come down and he'd try chasing us down. Of course, we skipped, jump, you know cat skin down a couple of trees over a couple of valleys and we'd be gone right but he was always persistent always persistent he was forever running to my old man going i have to chase your son again da -da 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 -da. And of course that was beats for me my old man did not spare the rod right but of course the more he beat me the more resilient i got you know so the more truant i became and then to be honest with you mate uh by the time i was 12 I was pretty much done with that shit. I had already started working for, at that point I was delivering the uh, Toronto Telegram newspaper. But uh, on weekends, I would uh, I was working for my neighbor, a Gdekic, Mance, Czechoslovakian fellow, hell of a nice guy. Couldn't stand his two kids. I went to school with his kids. They were, you know, the old, uh, we're entitled because daddy's got money kind of thing. But daddy comes from the old country and daddy earned his money and he worked hard. And uh, he liked me because I worked hard. So at 12 years old, man, I mean, on weekends, I was slinging hides in his tannery. And them hides weighed more than I did at the time. <laughs> I was a scrawny little 12-year-old. But yeah, I was pretty much done with school at that point and whatnot. I did go back for a while, uh, but once I started working, you know, that was it. And then, I mean, come 14, I was gone, man. You know, it was uh, sleeping under a bush was better than going home at that point. So, you know, what the hell, right? Move on. And like I say, I was already working. So that's where uh, my life started, <laughs> per se, the working life off and whatnot. But I'll never forget old Harry, that threw it off. So that poor old bugger, man, he would get so winded and whatnot, and he'd be chasing us. And, of course, we're eight, nine, you know, ten years old. We are gone, man. Yeah. But yeah, that's how old I am, kiddies. I lived in the days of truant officers. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Okay, so we got the house all built. We're good to go. And uh, Armani Hildo shall be happy, happy, soon. happy with her new dwelling. Now, I do have to get some limestone on it and get it insulated, of course. But uh, that's down the road for that kind of stuff. We uh, long way to go before we do that. Now, bear with me, I'm just going to do some organizing with the food thing here, and like that, and like that. Do, 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 da, boo, ba, do, ba. Yeah, poor old, speaking of Harry there, poor old bugger, he had, uh, well, like I said, we lived in a country small village, right? So a uh, dirt floor basement in his place and whatnot, down in his furnace room, he had the uh, the open kind of basement and then where his furnace was there was a, a small little room built around it per se uh, if you will but uh, I guess the door would uh, stick and whatnot and like that now in Ontario we get some pretty cold winters where I come from I mean I'm talking you know Fahrenheit minus 27 was not uncommon you know and you know you hear guys talk about six and seven feet of snow like I lived that stuff growing up as a kid we had winter man anyway long story short of course uh, one day the, the old man hadn't seen harry for a while so he lived just up the hill from us type of thing eh? up old vinegar hill he lived actually right on top of vinegar hill but yeah sure enough the old man went over and uh, harry's dog he had a german shepherd there he was going apeshit barking and jumping up on the old man and running to the the door that leads down below right 
what had happened, I guess Harry got in there tinkering with his furnace or something. But anyway, the door got jammed somehow, and he uh, he ended up freezing to death down in there. And the old man found him. Poor old bugger. Felt bad for all that teasing him after that for a while. You know, growing up. But there you go. It is what it is. Anyway, back to reality here. Natter, natter, natter. <laughs> I know, I do tend to run off at the mouth like a soup sandwich, don't I? I have uh, more than once in my life been accused of being rather loquacious. Yeah, downright chatty, if you will, under the right circumstance. <laughs> okay, so let's get back into this stuff, though, shall we? Now we get organized here. Ba -dee -boo, ba -dee -boo. All the fun, boring stuff of the game, eh, guys? Okay, and you... There we go. Okay. Now, just going to uh, gather up some material here because I think I'm going to go and uh, try and sell off what I can, make a little bit of coinage and uh, like that and like that. Okay. Alrighty, just bear with me for a couple of more secs here. Got you, okay. Just seeing what I do and what I don't have as far as implements go, and like that. Okay, yeah, what do we got going here? I have got to get so, so much more fertilizer together. It's just crazy. And come spring, I'm going to have to pay taxes on this land. And I'm using so little of it as far as the space available to me. Will you look at that? We got cabbage. Well, already then, our first cabbage, we got our carrots in. So now we'll have carrots and cabbage. And of course, the nice thing about this is we're going to get seed so we can uh, at least double our crop for the next plant and what have you. This is where it all starts paying off now. This is where you, all the hard work starts coming together a bit now. You know, but it's all baby steps. Like I say, you know, you start off, you've got 15 seeds and then you've got 30 and then you've got 60 and then you've got, you know, 120 and on you go, right? It's the circle of life. <laughs> All right, the nice thing about the cabbage, of course, is uh, we can make pottage. I just got to do a bit of hunting there, get uh, the meat supply up. And we got to get a buttload of wooden bowls together. But yeah, pottage is, uh, is a damn good thing. Way better than, uh, well, it gives you a far better uh, health return than just, you know, roasted meat or whatever. Eh? Okay, not a bad, not a bad at all. What do we got for seeds? There you go. There you go, right on. We like that. And there's something I like about that. Okay. The house. It looks far better. I don't care what you say. It looks far better. It had to be done. I had to move it to the west three feet. I had to. You don't understand. I had to. <laughs> okay, so let's get this cabbage sorted. We'll give a few for us in the uh, Hindem Lider there, and then we'll put the rest into the public uh, food storage so everybody's got access to it. There we are. Oh, yeah, pantry's starting to fill up a little bit. Get a bit of this and a bit of that in there. Cool beans, man. Awesome sauce. Alrighty, now. Ah, what's a yard without a fence, eh? But I need to kind of rearrange a little bit here. Um, okay, that'll run straight down to the side of the house. Let's see now. We'll grab you and we'll grab the wattle. Uh, See, the thing about this, though, too, there's going to be a break in the corner if I do that. 
Okay, let's get rid of this and we'll take you out and we'll start here and we'll wrap it around. And that I think will be a far better plan. Okay, come on. Just ease you back over here a bit. Tickle, tickle, tickle. A little bit, little bit, little bit. There. Yeah, come on. Right there, right there. There we go. Now, get you to the corner proper here. Just a little bit past it. Alright, come on. Easy. A bit more. Yes. And come on. There we go. Now, have I got it? Will it run to the side of the house? Come on down. Oh, it does. Okay. What a good boy are I. Just trying to get it to the corner on each side lined up here, of course, so we're kind of perfectly north, south, east, west. Yeah, now let's see if we go over. Arg, arg, arg. Nope, that's too far. Come back. Yeah, there, just a hair, just a hair. Right there, I think. Now yeah, let's run this down. Ooh, that kind of tickles. Do not straddle the fence, kitties. <laughs> now, I'm taking it right down water's edge right now. And then we can uh, adjust that, you know, down the road as we like. It's all kind of just piecemeal right now. We'll get this in and like that, like that. Now, that's not going to let me come across there because of the orchard. Okay, so we'll take that there out. That's fine. All right, one straight fence for the use of. Now, if I, ah, arg. Right, now I'm gonna need this pathway because at the end of that path is where I'm gonna put my fishing shed. So we'll need to keep that there. Now, grab you. Uh, just about. Yeah, there you are. We'll run you all the way up. Ooh, that tickles. Oh, my. Ooh. Okay, now I'll take her up as far as I can go this way for the now. And again, you know, we can uh, finite that later. And I'll just whittle it down to where we want it. But for the now, that's, uh, that's good enough, I do believe. I think we can live with that. Okay, so now I need, let's see, that corner piece I'm gonna, yeah, what am I gonna, I'm gonna take that out because that will become my pathway down to the fishing hut, yeah. All right, let's get a gate in here for the now. See, now an intelligent man, I reiterate, an intelligent man would have probably placed the gate first and then started the fence east and west of that gate and everything would line up nice instead of this shamazel that I've got here. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, I don't know. I'll put it here for the now and then I'll come back off camera later or whatever. And we'll, we'll tidy this up a fair bit. I can't leave it like that forever, but we'll do it for the now just to kind of give us an idea of where we lay and like that, like that. Oh, look, white picket fences. Hmm. Okay, that works. Now, leave us go get some supplies, shall we? Da, 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 what a beautiful day. Okay, coming on over here. There you go. Okay, we'll take you. And this is going to eat up a ton of my sticks, man. Egg expensive. Well, it's eight pieces per section. Doesn't matter if it's sticks or stone. Same, same. Stone fence is eight stone per section, too. And that's going to be pricey down the road. But we got lots of time to do a lot of gathering like that. 
bit of strolling around. I'll do a bunch of stuff off camera, go out and just do the grindy grind, spend an entire day and just, you know, get a good stockpile of sticks, logs, stone, stuff we can turn into planks and all that, you know. Because we're going to need, we are going to need, and then we're going to need some more. <laughs> and no, I don't mean bread either. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Okay, that gate is going to drive me eight. But we'll fix that later, no worries. We got the house fixed, that was the major one. Okay, finish this off down here a bit. We got uh, the backyard, I've got two plots for uh, for trees now. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with apple. I might put a couple of cherry trees in the back. I like them in the spring. They're just so pretty. Okay, so now what we need really is a fence down here too. And that will uh, define the path on the way down to the, uh, <coughs> pardon me, the fishing shed. That I'm going to take out. Uh, I think, I think, I think. Like I said, I think. I don't know. But I didn't never knew. But yeah, I might take that out later and put a gate there or whatever. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's a small thing, really. It's a small thing. Okay, now can I line this up? A little straight west. Grab you and you. Okay, now tickle, tickle, tickle. Get you lined up there. And we'll bring you across to the orchard. Yeah. Uh, right in there. No, no, no. Line it. No. Ah, you son of a gun. Okay. Uh, I'm driving myself crazy here. Overthinking this. Everything's got to be straight. Laser straight. You know. Dig nibbit. Okay, now let's run this down here. There, now we've got a defined path down to where the fishing shed's going to be. And we got it defines the orchard as well. And like I say, we'll uh, we'll tickle this here and there and whatnot down the road. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Slinger, arg. Not happy. Best laid plans of and all that good stuff. Hmm. Bear with me, peeps. I'm just kind of running stuff through my head here, trying to figure out what I want, where I'm going, and why I'm doing it. Well, we know why, because I'm eccentric. Why else would I go through this? <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's take you, and I think we're going to remove a few sections of this, and then what we'll do is we'll do the wrap around, come across from the bottom, and then head up the hill. Yeah, maybe one or two more here, let's see. Uh, that should be pretty good, I don't know. Yeah. All right, now, if we come across from the bottom of the orchard, straight over, that should look okay. Do I want it this far? I don't. I want it up here. In there, come on, you. Yeah. Oh, this son of a gun. I had it for a second there. Okay. Ah, Lord, a little girl, our dirty word. All right, we're going to go like so. We're going to come across. We're going to line it up. Now, I'm not facing completely south, but, yeah, I think somewhere, yeah, it's, uh, see, this is the problem with doing it piecemeal, it's not going to line up exact, exact, but I think what I'm going to do is right where these two join, I'll take a section of this fence out, and I'll turn that into an entranceway right there in between them two. So I'll take one of uh, one of those sections out, and then they'll have access to the orchard on that side. 
because my workers are going to need to get into it in order to harvest from it and all that happy stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave that one on the left, but this one here I think we'll take out so they've got access to the path, obviously. So that'll maybe become a gate down the road, or I might just leave it open end. You know. Thing is, once the animals start running around, and they will, they'll probably get corralled down in there. But we'll see. That's all down the road. That's a long, long way away. Okay, there we go. A little bit more. Man, it's eating up my sticks. I'll tell you what. There we go. So, my friends, my friends, my friends, how are you all doing out there these days? I hope you're well. I hope you're healthy. I hope things in your life are uh, going good on whatever day it is or time for you. For me, it's uh, Thursday the 10th. And I'm running late today. It's actually 10.30 in the morning for me. I'm, uh, I slept in until, jeez, I don't know, it was like 20 after 8 or something I woke up. I was like, I haven't done that in I don't know how long, man. You know? But there you go. You see, these corners just like, oh, that irks me. I don't like it. You know, when you get to the corner and it's broken because you've, you've brought two ends together instead of it all being one harmonious fence, you know? But anyway, that's just me driving myself nuts like I do on days like I do today. Just one of those days, man. Yeah, that, uh, that gate, that's, nope, 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 that's just fuggly, man. Okay, but we'll, we'll tickle that off camera. And get it all tidied up that way when you come in next time. She'll all be pretty. So we're doing okay on the apples, eh? We got, uh, what, seven down there. Got four in the yard. Seven and four. So, oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. Yeah. I can remember when 7-Eleven was Max Milk way back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm old. I get it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get rid of the HUD and we'll just take a little snap. And over here, a little gloomy day. Yeah, we got enough of those already. Okay, now the orchard. Oh, perfect. We have a villager. Now, if you would be so kind. Yeah, perfect. Click. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for the Pikachus. Okay, do I have... The, I don't have this yet, do I? Oh, come on, fat-fingered boy, get in there. Ooh, 500. Uh, this is the one I want. I can't afford that right now, though. Ah, dang damn it. Okay, we got to get out and do some scrounging. We got to make some knives. We got to sell off some product. We got to make some coin. And that's all there is to it. Alrighty. Hello, my beautiful wife. Hello, my beautiful son. Okay, now we're just going to take off the unlimited carry weight. So we're back to being normal. There we go. A little quick save. How is life treating you? Like. So a little bit of a long and the tooth grindy one uh, today. Hence the uh, the nattering and whatnot. Try to get you through it, but necessary Have evils do. I mean, these are things we've got to do, and uh, it's not fair for me just to kind of, you know, show you the after shots and whatnot. The whole point of this is to take you along with me so that you're experiencing the game. Uh, vicariously through me, you know, and uh, if you're going to experience the game, then I think it's necessary that you experience all of the game. Well, to an extent, anyway. But I digress. Anyway, my friends, I am going to leave it here for now. Uh, like that and like that. So, as always, brightest blessings. Hey, brightest blessings, my friend. Love and light. Okay? So be good to each other, yeah? Go tell somebody you love them. Make their day better. You'll feel better for doing it. <laughs> all right. Love to you all. We'll see you in the next one, yeah?